What's going on? How y'all doing tonight? This one's going to be about that Senator Bob Sassy. Um, this cat's out of Nebraska. And he's doing something that a lot of these Republican cats or some of these ones are doing. They must know that Trump's days are numbered or something. Now they it's open season to talk about them. This cat came out and said that all Trump does is kiss the butts of uh, dictator type of cats, be it Putin or Kong, Young or something. And how he has been flirts with white supremacists, which I laugh. I said, what you mean flirt with? There ain't no flirt. He's in kiss, hug, and embrace being a white supremacist. And Trump ain't fake the funk that. He's been openly with his love of white supremacists, all those groups. There is nothing there that he's exactly been here hiding. I look at these cats like they're some of the biggest jive turkeys chump soft simps that you can imagine where were they to part their mouth when trump was fattening up their bank accounts and hooking them up with gigs where did they know they knew he was all about and now it's fashionable because his behind should not even this shouldn't even be no race biden should mop the floor with him in a couple two three weeks easily just on gp about the virus just on GP about the economy. Just on GP about racial relations. Just on GP about the job market. Just on GP how he is about people in general. But we already know. But anyway, this is another one of them jive turkeys who is sitting up here now acting like he's being revel revel revelations. Like, oh, yeah. And it's funny when you hear the interview. But I'm like, all these cats coming out talking about him, it's been there. This ain't nothing new. You knew when you work with him what he was about. And you're sitting up there acting like, yeah, he's this and that. Well, how come you didn't say that? Because you were trying to get a bag. That's what it was. See, if you're going to be truthful, be truthful from the get up. You know. And I ain't, you know, and I tell it all the time, I've been knowing how whack Trump is for many moons. You know, I ain't there's nothing he could do to make me want to have a word with him. I ain't Ice Cube. And there's nothing that he could ever say or do that would sway my interest at all. I don't trust him. He's a racist, garbage, trash. He is a fake successful businessman he's sexist and he doesn't have half of what he portrays to have you know but he's got white privilege and he throws it in your face so when i hear these turkeys who are part of the same party come out and talk about him i'm like well now y'all airing him out but y'all could have been in him out what year ago two years ago three years ago four years ago you're scared of him because of that facade about his money and his name. But if y'all told the truth, Trump, Donald Trump ain't nothing but poor white trash and an embarrassment. But America, white America, would love to embrace privilege and take on privilege than to have principles. And I see that. And this senator, <laughs> it's funny, but you talking loud and saying nothing, like James Brown would say, because you knew all that all along. Why now? Because it's fashionable. See, even the people I can't stand, I'll say, well, I dig you or don't dig you. Don't pile on nobody. It's too easy. Mm -hmm. So this Bob Sassy cat, some cat out of Nebraska, uh, Republican um, Senator, he got his bag, and he know Trump is about cooked, so he gonna come on and say it now. Say it before. Look at Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan took an early retirement. He got out early, and I can't stand that weasel, but that turkey knew that Trump was jive, and he got out back when. You can get out. They go one way or the other. They either quit or they get they get locked up messing with Trump and his corrupt crooked behind. So 
Anyway, that's my thoughts and takes about Senator Bob Sassy out of Nebraska, Aaron Trump out. Like, you could have been done that, though, player. Anyway, give me your thoughts and your takes. Hit the like and subscribe when the bell rings a new video. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for one another. And, you know, if you got something to say, say it. Don't wait till the coast is clear. Don't be all scared. Stop acting like a little, little buster. Don't be no mark about it. You got something to say? Put it on out there. My hope.